Uh, pretty pretty vivid, really. I, uh, it was in my last year of school. I, I think I left school a few uh, on a few days, left uh, pretty early to go and watch every game. So I can you know, recall pretty much every game that New Zealand played. And um, yeah, we've certainly built a lot of momentum up, you know, leading up to that semi final and um, and played some excellent cricket. You know, a lot of key senior players. Obviously, Crow was outstanding, but you know, Jones, um, great batch, um, Rutherford all play their part from, you know, to Pat Patel, all the bowling group contributed at different times and, and certainly got the nation behind them and it was a great feel um, about cricket around that time and, you know, what they did uh, for cricket in, in New Zealand. Um, you know, as a playing group, they inspired the next generation and, you know, we've been fortunate enough that, you know, six New Zealand teams have made semi-finals and, um, you know, we've got an opportunity to do the same and even go one or two better. So that's what we're going to hope to do. Oh, look, we've got a few, um, you know, but we've got a few because we've got a lot of players pushing their case, not because we're trying to find someone. And I think that's a nice position to be in. You know, we have to um, nut down what our, our openers are. We have to nut down, a, um, you know, who our backup batsman is. Um, you know, we need that person to be able to cover a number of positions. Um, I think if we if we have an injury during the tournament, you know, it's only a minor one. You know, we need to be able to replace from within rather than um, remove players from the squad. Uh, the balance of the squad in terms of around spin is important, um, and also seam bowling. You know, we've got a lot of good seam bowlers performing well, and unfortunately, we you know we might only take four. So um, you know, there's going to be some hard decisions made there. Oh, look, uh, I don't think you've seen everything. I think you've got a glimpse of the, the style of play, but, um, you know, you have to be a little bit malleable at certain times during the tournament. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have one or two surprises. Don't worry about that. Oh, look, I think things will evolve over the next couple of months leading up to the World Cup, so we would have seen enough of um, enough players to um, to know that they're ready for this for selection. So no, I wouldn't imagine that there'll be anyone uh, unexpected. Um, hopefully the players that do well in the months leading up to it um, earn their, their stripes. Well, look, we've only got eight one-day internationals and we've got six sort of New Zealand 11 games between now and um, the end of the Sri Lankan test, which is when we have to name the team. So not a lot of opportunities. Um, you know, we, we look at how players perform over a period of time. So it's not a matter of this is your one chance, and if you don't do well, you're out. It's more uh, how we see players perform over, um, you know, the last 12 months, where we've clearly made some progress, and uh, and those next 14 games are going to be pretty important for one or two as well. Afghanistan. Yeah, I think so. I think they are. Uh, they've got a lot of. Uh, rough diamonds, shall we say? A lot of guys that on their day can turn a match. You know, Ireland are a, a good side, and they'll you know no one will underestimate them. But I think Afghanistan um, you know, could frighten one or two teams. They'll get rolled over as well, time to time. But I think if they get everything um, going on this on one day, they could be a you know a tough side.